Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bottoms up, boys. Hey, Gerardo, what's up? Here we go, bub. Three guys, and we're at the pity. Here we go. Hey, Inspirix, what's up, man? Thanks, King Jero. I did the best I could with what I have. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Oh, thanks so much for Andy. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, please. Please. Kyo! Kyo! Ah! Oh, thank you so much. It gave me a Kyo memory. That is so dope, guys. You don't even know. It's so dope. I'm so happy. Well, actually, you probably do know. Oh, 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 red, 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 red. Who's it? Please, please, God, be an SS character. Oh, please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh snap! Freaking free to play account. So damn lucky. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and in light of what you all just saw from the live stream last night, we're going to do a little showcase for Keo on my free-to-play account. I was so happy that I was able to get those two memories, two in a row, and then I got a selector, which is actually going to enable me, so far on my free-to-play account, to take Keo to three stars and my SS Seori to three stars. But we're just going to focus on Keo. And by the way, I was able to take Keo to two stars because... I actually farmed the living hell out of the rush event here so I could get these tokens. I spent a lot of AP, or I'm sorry, I spent a lot of rubies on AP so I could farm this. I ended up getting 50,000 of these. I went ahead and bought two of these tokens here, and that's what helped me level up Kyo to two star. Matter of fact, I did that for SS Kyo, or for SS Yori and for SS Kyo, both of them, so that I could get them to two stars, and I was able to get another imprint stone because of that. And Keo really is an amazing character. Increased SS Fighter's attack by 60% is massive because he buffs up Athena and Mai, which is the meta team with Keo in the leadership for Lunatic and Guild Raid. It is massive. And if you have his 3PG, it doesn't get interrupted by Omega, Rugal, and Guild Raid, which is awesome. Plus, it's a long 3PG animation. Uh, the fact that Keo has 30% PG rate in his core means he's going to be doing that animation over and over. His default's actually fairly long as well. He's got the increase to blast and strike skills, and that's really great because he has a mixture of blast and strike skills on in his kit. He has a 30% chance to become immune for 15, well, on a 15-second cooldown. That's awesome. You know, to gain immunity is massive because every time he gains this immunity, even in Guild Raid, he's not going to take damage whenever he gains that immunity. And being on a 15 second cooldown, this is going to happen a lot in Guild Raid, especially because you're going to be using your 3PG. You're going to be delaying the timer, stalling the timer more or less. But the countdown is still going to be going on for this core effect, which means you're going to be getting this immunity quite often. And then he also increases active skill damage by 20% whenever Iori is on the team. Now, I haven't tested this, but I've been told by other players and by other YouTubers that if you put Iori as a striker for Kyo he will still get this 20% increase active skill damage. So, I mean, that's something to think about. This is something I am tested. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard. But I know when he's on the team, he definitely gains that 20%. And then he increases active skill damage to burn and starlight characters by 60%. So whenever he applies his burn and starlight, which is in his kit, he gives an extra 60% damage to those characters using his active skills. And then, whenever he's guarding, he actually can decrease the power of his opponents. So, just like Nightmare Geese and BS Chrysalid, and of course, SS Yori, whenever he's guarding, 
He's going to remove their power. Their power gauge is just going to start going down. And then he also can decrease damage received by 70% when accumulated attacks reach uh, 5. So when even when he's guarding and characters are hitting him, he can still get this decreased damage received by 70%. So not only does he have the immunity, but he also has a decreased damage received in his core on a 20 second cooldown. That is crazy, my friends. Very, very tanky character. And just like Iori, you know, he can reset his first skill. He's got a 20% chance to reset the first skill that applies burn damage. The second skill has hyper armor. That is an interrupt skill. And it also increases the target's damage received by 20%. So not only does he have the increased damage from his core, but he also has the increased damage on his damn second skill. That's crazy. And then this skill can actually get reset. as a 50% chance to get reset from doing the third skill. And then he has Starlight and has an attack buff on the third skill as well. And then he applies Starlight from his default, which is crazy. And the thing about Iori, SS Iori and Kyo is Iori applies Burn from his default and it lasts for 10 seconds. Kyo applies Starlight and it lasts for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is a long time. To have that dot applied, especially in Guild Raid. It allows all of your other characters to be able to do a lot of damage to Rugal, break his meter, and start doing insane damage to this character. And then he's got the striker skill that active team members gain 10% power. So let's take Kyo for a little spin here. Let's go into Infinite Battle. And we'll start off with old Kyo here. Let me make sure. Okay, so this is the only card set that I had available. So right now, we're going to be going against four-star characters. Four-star, my friends. Four-star. Hopefully, Eileen doesn't remove our buff. That would really suck. All right, here we go. So I'm going to try to dodge. We're going to back away, back away, back away. Yeah, and see that? He removed her immunity buff, which is massive. We'll apply a little burn. And I was just trying to build up a little PG right there. Easy peasy, guys. Didn't take any damage at all. So let's see what happens with Mr. Karate. We're just going to go ahead and use our default. Try to build a little bit more PG there. We did take a little bit of damage. I kind of messed up there. I saw that we didn't remove her buff. So I went ahead and just used his default finisher to make sure we got the kill. Easy peasy with this guy. No problem. You always got to be careful when you're facing characters that can remove your buffs uh, like Eileen. Because, I mean, she's so strong, she'd kill you in one shot. So you gotta be careful of that. That's just something with any character, no matter how strong they are. So, easy peasy and infinite battle. Okay, so we gotta do that again because I actually did die. I mean, whenever you face any strong characters, it does happen. So here we go. All right, so we'll start off that second skill. Okay, now we want to keep our distance from... Uh, Vanessa there. We want to keep our distance from her. We want to be real careful with her. Because if we use our hyper armor skills, she can actually freeze us. So that was pretty easy, pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and try it again. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Well, I'll just switch to Keo whenever we get in there.
Get away, get away, get away. Get out of there, get out of there. Okay, second skill. And see, see that, that third skill, just removing that buff, that 60% chance to remove super armor and hyper armor is actually what it is. Not removing a buff, but removing super armor and hyper armor is just so powerful. Him and Iori both can do that crap. That is crazy. You saw me just take away his uh, super armor. No problem. Easy peasy, my friends. And if we take him into Guild Raid, and this is going to be pretty interesting. So let's see what he can do right now with this amount of CP that I got. This will be interesting. I'm actually curious. I haven't tried this yet. This will be my first time attempting this. Oh, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Damn. Man, freaking he is melting. I mean, seriously, guys, considering this bill. Keo is doing amazing. Oh boy, oh boy, boy. Let's melt him. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost at 50 million right now. Wow. I got to tell you guys, he definitely damage-wise, he is much stronger than Iori. Nice. Wow. <laughs> he is melting this, dude. Seriously, this is crazy. This score, I've never been able to score this kind of score, ever. This is really why I wanted to show you guys this on this free-to-play account. Oh, crap. He caught me. Jesus, that damage is nuts. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Look at that bar melt. Wow. Almost 90 million the first time I come in here and did this. This is a level 12 keel. Level 12. One Empress Stone at level 7. Holy crap. Seriously, I, I did not think he was going to do that good. I know it's on easy. I, I know that, guys. But seriously, that is crazy. That is amazing. And, I mean, just like I said in the Iori video, if you were lucky enough to get this guy or Iori, you know, starting off in this game like this early on, man, you are loving life. Because they are so strong. You know what? Actually, let's go into something else here. Let's go into something else. So now we got Elemental Lightning, right? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll put her over there. Oh, look at this. So right now, we're going to be able to get some rubies here, right? This is why these characters are so good, right? Especially yeah, in PvP, they're also amazing. I don't put a lot of focus on PvP because it is in a very rewarding game mode. Come on now. Oh, yeah. 
And I will say something else. His third skill is very fast. Uh, I do think it's faster than Iori's, actually. I mean, he just... He just screams across the screen. Jesus, look at that! Freaking melting! Wow. Rubies, 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 my friends. And I can go on and on, right? He's going to be able to go higher and higher and higher. I mean, we'll easily be able to do this tier right here. Man, Keo is freaking insane. Holy crap, is he freaking insane. I wish I had uh, two card sets. You see how fast he does that thirst? He's just like, Phew. like, here, come here. Easy, guys. And then I'll be able to do another one of these, no problem. I'm probably going to take these rubies and start using them to try to get a 3PG. Sweet. So amazing, guys. So amazing. So I am thoroughly impressed with Keo. Uh, he is just an insane character. And if, you've, if you face him in PvP, you'll find out he's pretty insane there, too. Him and Iori, both of the SS characters really are just top notch. Freaking love them to death. And, you know, I gotta say, aesthetically, they really did do an amazing job on Keo. He looks so buff. He looks so hoss, right? He's just like, ah, you know, he just looks insane. His shoulders are freaking massive. Oh my god, bad mofo, my friends. Freaking love the hell out of him. Let me know how you're all doing in the game. Let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten, and how you feel about Keo and Iori. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.